come down a bit further until the talus comes into view and the tibia has disappeared. This is the talus here. Angle up to the AITFL, which we've covered before, and then I keep the probe in that position with the uh, lateral side of the uh, probe over the fibula, and I roll the medial side round until the talus comes into view. You keep going round because the ligament doesn't attach where the cartilage goes over the corner, but you keep coming round until the cartilage disappears. This is the level where you expect to find the AI, the ATFL. That's coming into view there. Once you find that angle, you then just move down in that plane backwards and forwards and this is the ligament here. You can see that I'm oblique because it, the ligament appears to travel across the screen. So I change my angle slightly until the ligament comes in and out of view altogether. And that's the long axis and I'm passing through the whole of the main part of the, AI, the ATFL. I then turn into short axis, this is the ligament here, and I scan all the way onto its insertion onto the talus and then back up in short axis onto its insertion onto the uh, fibula. If you look really carefully you will see some smaller fibers inferior to this and this is an accessory ligament uh, that crosses at a slightly different angle. So scanning the ATFL ligament here between the fibula on the right hand side of the screen and the uh, talus here. This is the ligament in long axis. Quick scan all the way through it. Then I'm going to do a dynamic test. So if you look at the, uh, uh, the video, uh, I've got my thumb on the uh, cuboid and I've got my two fingers on the medial side of the calcaneus. And I'm just going to do a twisting action there. And that's enough to test the ligament. So there's the ligament again. And when I put that torque on, that puts a stretch, moves the talus away from the calcaneus. And the ligament here is nice and secure. And that puts a, test, uh, a stretch on it.